Our brand new cycle of basic Spacelands is now available for purchase at www.itresolvesmtg.com. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to another gameplay video. I'm very excited to be back. Uh, kind of took the weekend off. Just had a couple days of rest and relaxation. Uh, my my fiance and I actually got to take a little bit of a road trip for the day and that kind of stuff. It was great. It was a good time. Great to take a couple days off, but obviously very excited to be back as well and very excited to be playing a user submitted deck. So this one, once again, is from turn one Soul Ring. Uh, Adam, thank you, buddy. Really do appreciate all the submissions. Um, we've had a number of submissions, some of which are a little bit more standard viable than others. So if you don't see yours, it's probably just because, uh, you know, it, it may not have held up quite as well in the standard environment, at least not in best of one. That's not to say it's a bad deck by any means, so please don't take it that way. Uh, but obviously we wanna be able to test a deck that has a little bit of viability and standard at least in the best of one ladder right now and so that's part of why we don't pick and choose every deck uh some of the decks uh, unfortunately just aren't quite powerful enough and that's okay they're more fun decks and that's totally fine so i do still recommend playing them testing them out if you're on our discord you can see all of them so please do check those out but uh adam did suggest this one and i'm i i love this this is exactly the kind of control deck that i love uh, and it has one of my favorite cards in standard, which is Casualties of War. So uh, it is a Sultai control list uh, running about 25 lands and a lot of powerful spells. So uh, if you look through this, it's got a lot of standard control elements. Thought Erasure, obviously a great card to pick apart the hand. Uh, it's got things like Heartless Act as well as Murderous Rider to deal with uh, pretty much any creature or Planeswalker we need it to, as well as Eat to Extinction. Uh, and then Extinction Event, which is kind of an interesting include, but a card that uh, Turn 1 Sol Ring in particular did actually play in a different list uh, to fight Garuda decks. Uh, and we were pre pleasantly surprised at how well it handled a lot of different decks, not just Garuda. So uh, excited to try this out uh, in a bit of a different shell here today. Uh, to help ramp us, we've got a little thing, uh, Grow Spiral as well as Uro. Uro really doubles as a great spell uh, for the late game as well, just a way to finish off the game. We need a, a big, powerful creature. This is the way to do it. So very, very strong. Uh, as far as Planeswalkers go, we do have Tamio as a two of here. Uh, one of my favorites, honestly, I actually really, really love Tamio. Uh, not only does it stop things like opposing thought erasures, uh, but it also gives double value to a lot of your spells and fills your graveyard if you need to, uh, which can help us cast things like Uro, uh, but also pull things like, you know, a thought erasure back if we know they've, they've got a problem card or an eat to extinction to really get rid of, you know, whatever uh, the opponent might have out on the field. So very, very powerful. Uh, we also have three Nissa who shakes the world. This is another really, really good finisher for us, uh, mostly because it ramps us but, uh, into that Casualties of War, but also because it can spit out these uh, Vigilance 3-3 three, three creatures that could just swing in. Uh, and so it, it sort of just keeps boosting up our board as we need it to. Uh, Ashiok here is a two of, again, spitting out little two, three creatures can actually really do a lot in a deck like this. So I'm, I'm happy to say we've got some token generation here. Uh, but it also gives us a way to bounce a permanent, make them exile a card from their hand. And then, of course, if we can get to that minus seven, we can really, really do some damage by playing a bunch of their cards, which is really good. Uh, and then, as I said, Casualties of War is one of my favorite cards in standard uh, because it does so much. Uh, there's never really a bad time to play this. As long as you hit at least like two things, you feel pretty good. Uh, and normally, uh, more often than not, especially in right now's uh, standard environment, you could probably hit also an enchantment or maybe a planeswalker or something. So uh, for six mana, uh, two, two black and two green, you get to choose one or more. You can choose all of these if you'd like. Uh, destroy target artifact, target creature, target enchantment, target land, and target planeswalker. Uh, the givens here, obviously, you're going to always want to be hitting a land. Uh, that's a very easy one. Uh, very, very often, you'll find that, you know, if somebody plays out like a Castle Lockthwain or something like that, you can shut down their draw engine. Uh, a Castle Ardenvale, you can shut down their creatures. Like, you've got a lot of things you can do there. Uh, a lot of times, you'll also be able to hit a creature or a Planeswalker, depending on the kind of deck you're against. Obviously, if it's a control deck. More often than not, it's probably going to be a Planeswalker, but uh, even if you're just hitting, like, you know, if they birth a Molinus and you hit a 0-4 wall, it's still value. It still gets you uh, a little bit further into the game, so I'm, I'm happy with that. 
Uh, and then, of course, enchantments are very popular right now, so very easy to get something there as well. Artifacts, hit or miss, obviously, but uh, generally speaking, Casualties of War is a very high value card, uh, especially in right now standard environments. So, uh, like I said, 25 lands, one island, three swamp, and two forest. Uh, the full gambit of, uh, of shock lands here. Four Zagoth Triumphs as well. Great way to cycle through the deck if need be. And then, of course, three Fabled Passage to search up our basics. So I have not tested this deck, I'll be honest. Uh, normally, um, I I've, I've tried to vet the decks a little bit more recently because every once in a while we get one that's just not even, not even remotely close to being okay. And uh, I did not this time because I will say on the onset, this one looks really, really good. I do appreciate it again. Turn one Soul Ring, thank you so much for, for submitting. Uh, and just want to extend that out to everybody else. If you would like to submit a deck, anybody is welcome to. You can leave it in the comment section below, or uh, there's a link down below in our description uh, for our Discord. Anybody's welcome to join. It's open to everyone. Uh, and we do have a channel in there dedicated to deck suggestions. So if you've got a deck, you can just leave a link for it in there. Uh, we'd certainly appreciate it. So uh, thank you in advance if you do. So uh there's a bit of a slow hand <clears throat> um it does have quite a bit of like strong interaction um and uro to help keep us going this is a bit slow but i'm gonna try it uh and again keep in mind as we play through this i'm learning uh as i just said i've not played this deck yet so this is going to be a bit of a learning experience for me as well uh so this may very well be a a very incorrect keep but you know we'll try it uh it looks like we are against mono white life gain uh, which can be interesting, we will say, um, but we will do the best we can. The only good thing is, uh, you know, if they give indestructible somehow, that doesn't really matter. We can eat to extinction it, uh, regardless, which is very, very good. Um, and actually this turn, I think what we will do, we're just going to go ahead and get rid of this healer's hawk now. Um, kind of want to do that before it becomes a problem. I know we're, we're taking some damage here, so we do have to be slightly careful, but uh, Murderous Rider really does a good job of claw or, uh, not only um, destroying a creature or Planeswalker, but then obviously coming back down if need be. Uh, let's drop that, and let's just go ahead and put this out there. Um, it blocks the Imprisoned uh, or Impassioned Orator a little bit better than uh, most creatures, so I figure this is probably an okay time. If they want to spend a removal spell on a Murderous Rider, that's fine. Um, but this just means that they can't necessarily start swinging in immediately. Well, they can now. <clears throat> Pretty good. Uh, we will block. 100%. Uh, we're, we're in the name of keeping ourselves alive. <laughs> uh, we do get to eat something this coming turn, though, which is quite nice. Uh, at instant speed as well. Very, very good. So we can kind of make them spend some mana here first. Uh, so it's going to be tough, but let's just go ahead and pass. Um, we kind of want them to play some stuff out, put some counters on something, and then we eat to extinction whatever they put the counters on, uh, if that makes sense. Okay. And this is exactly what I'm saying. I want them to spend the mana just so, you know, they don't get quite the level of uh of interaction that they necessarily would. Um and really we're just kinda hoping to hit a land off the top here. Oh, I guess they can give protection. That's a little unfortunate. But that's okay. Uh they do have to sacrifice this to do it. Um not great for us, but not the end of the world either. Makes them sacrifice it, and we actually can get this back with Tamiyo, so i uh, kind of okay with it. Make them burn the uh, Alcyed. Yep. Okay. Uh, extinction event would... Uh, it only hits half, doesn't it? Um, hmm. Let's do this. Let's do this. Hmm. Let's get rid of this. I'm going to make him get rid of a card here. I could just put out a 2-3, but I'd honestly just rather him get rid of a card. So uh, that's why I'm doing it this way. It also keeps them off of Heliod a little bit easier, which I think is better. Um, 
they do just get to replay it and that's fine but they do kind of have to kill ashiok here uh and next turn we get to follow it up with another one if we'd like so i think this was an okay play um and the name of the game is slowly devaluing the opponent's stuff. That's not good. Okay. Yep. All right. So this obviously going to do this. Um, I'm going to drop this Ashiok. So, this is a bit of an odd play, I understand, um, but I'm going to make them get rid of this flyer, uh, which is pretty important for us. Mm, yeah. Uh, we, we don't really have a great way to deal with the flyer, which is why we're doing this. Um, and now, you know, we block this and it's not the end of the world, that's fine. Um, and then next turn we have, like, Uro or Nissa to kind of start clogging up the board even more. Um, so we'll see. I, I mean, they're they're gaining a ton of life and we're at one, but we're close. We're close to stabilizing. Uh, very fair also. I, I could very easily be misplaying a good bit here, so do keep that in mind. What did we hit? Okay. All right, so first things first, obviously, we're going to do this. Um... Let's go ahead and drop this. <clears throat> uh, let's untap this. Um, let's go ahead and do this. And let's pull back the eat to extinction here. So we're kind of doing the best we can to set ourselves up for next turn. Um, the only thing that I don't like is if they do have a way to remove this 2-3, we're in a bad position. Because um, obviously we just lose. Probably would have been safer just to play Uro. Uh, but that's okay. Um, that is okay. Uh, e to Extinction, very, very good here, though. I will say that. The fact that it exiles is great. Uh, not that that matters tremendously in this matchup in particular. But, like, you know. We just get to continuously block here. Um, what do we hit? Oh, okay. Nothing spectacular. All right. Uh, good news here, though, is, you know, we've got quite a bit of stuff that we can do. So uh, we get to eat to extinction something. Uh, I guess the first thing we should do is, or uh, let's go ahead and gain some life here. Uh, get ourselves out of that one range, which is pretty pretty devastating, honestly. Um, go ahead and do that. That's fine. That's also fine. Uh, we'll do this. We're going to go ahead and get rid of this, uh, since it is the lethal threat here. Um, we'll keep that on top of the library, uh, since we know we can do this. Enter's tapped. Alright, let's do this. Uh, we'll just get this. Uh, what do we want here? I think we kind of just want E to extinction, right? Oh, hey, we got one. Well, that worked out. <laughs> um, we can actually just play this here. That's pretty good. That worked out great. <laughs> uh, yes, we definitely want that. Um, and let's just go ahead and do this. Okay. Uh, well, wow, they gave up. I mean, granted, I will say, given that position, I think we're definitely in the in the right there. But like, holy crap! Whew, that was a tough one. We were on one. Guys, that was insane. Okay, uh, well, great first great first round uh, with Adam's deck here. Absolutely love it. Uh, it. Plays exactly like I was kind of hoping it would, and I love it. Absolutely love it. This is sweet. Um, it's very unfair of me to make an assumption like that off of one game, but, like, this is a pretty cool deck. Um, I really like it. 
I like it a lot. Uh, all right, let's see how we can do in this second game. These games are going to go a little bit longer than probably some of the other ones, so just a heads up there. Uh, we're at, you know, 15 minutes now. Um, we'll keep this. This has a ton of ramp, uh, which is good, considering we have also a Casualties of War. Uh, what would kind of be nice is like a Thought Erasure or something, so we could start picking apart the opponent's hand here. Uh, but we do have three cards that are going to draw us cards, so hopefully we will hit something. Um, and if not, maybe just a big Planeswalker or something we can drop uh, pretty quickly. Uh, Nissa, very, very good. I always underestimate Nissa, who shakes the world, just because you know, she's she's obviously good. There's no doubt about that. I just always forget how good. Um, because, you know, she, she comes in, she starts ramping you, and it's just like, ah, okay, well, <laughs> can't do... I mean... What are you going to do? You just ramp like crazy and start dropping 3-3s three for free. Pretty good. <clears throat> well, looks like Teamer Adventures. Just my guess. Um, which is fine. I, I don't particularly have a strong reaction against the Teamer, teamer Adventures deck. I think um, we can have a good matchup against them. So we'll see. Let's do this. And we'll just drop this over Grand Tomb. And see how this goes. Um, next turn we can ramp like crazy. Because we can do Uro plus Gross Viral if we'd like. Um, maybe this isn't Teamer Adventures. What would this... This I mean, it might be. Very well might be. But, uh, hmm. Interesting. Um, let's do this. Let's drop Uro. We're in the, the ramp game here. Uh, for sure. Uh, we do need an island here, which is pretty crucial. Okay. Um, I'm actually... I think I am going to Thought Erasure here. I don't particularly care about that. Um, this deck seems really interesting. I'm going to get rid of that only because we've already got two and we all, we really only need a land and then we're we're set. So, like, um, I'm digging for a land. If we could start hitting lands and like really killing their Lovestruck Beast and their Kiora and a land, and they've only got three land, like we're in the position now where that's 100% what we need to be doing. Um, especially if we can take him off of just green. We can actually, uh, there's very high potential we can do that. Oh, not good. Um, okay, well, first things first, we'll grow Spiral because we can. Um, and now we can just murder a Strider. We're just going to take this out. Um, uh, Kiora is nice, but I don't care as much about that. Yes, it's going to continuously draw some cards here, but worse things have happened. Uh, they've drawn two land, uh, it looks like, anyway. And, well, maybe uh, two land and an X. I don't know what the X is, but that's fine. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. Um, still need a land. That's pretty bad. Let's get rid of this. We kind of have to. We just can't take too much damage. Um, I know we're dealing a little bit of damage to ourselves here, but eventually we just start playing out these murderous riders and then we're in okay shape. So, um, cause then we can just lifelink our way through. Uh, they can do this weird transformation card, but, like, I'm not a fan of that. Um, sure. Pretty good. <clears throat> Honestly, though, anything that they do here, we just get targets for casualties of war. So, like, <laughs> we now have a, <clears throat> a creature, an enchantment, an artifact, a land, and a planeswalker that we get to hit. Uh, which is why casualties is so good because the more that you try and do the more we have to actually hit uh, Which is pretty awesome Speaking of which that might be even better uh, thought erasure man. We are just not hitting the lands here. Um Okay, so I think we just have to play this right uh, Gains us a life hopefully digging us through a land uh, We could have tamioed and oh sorry for the frame rates by the way could have Tamioed and gotten like a Fable Passage back or something, but I just don't think that's worth it. This gives us, you know, some card draw. We we desperately want to land though. If we can get a land, 
We are in great shape. Oh my goodness. Yes, give us a land, please. <laughs> we need a land so badly. Um, I'm very surprised, honestly, that we haven't hit one. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. This at least gives them something to think about. Um, I don't know how much removal that they've got. Uh, it doesn't seem like an excessive amount, to be honest. Um, and so hopefully we'll be okay. This is at least going to stave off some attacks. Oh, my goodness. Okay. First things first, we're going to swing in at Kiora. Uh, this gains us some life. It also draws us a card to hopefully hit a land. Please, can we hit a land? Oh my goodness, no. Um, okay. Well, we still have instant speed ways to make their blocks really terrible, which is pretty good. Um, or just, they do that. That works too. Okay. Um, hmm. That technically doesn't have a counter on it, does it? We can also just Murderous Rider. Hmm. Let's just kill that. We don't want to take too much damage here. Um, but now we can do this also. So let's go ahead and just get rid of that. Just trying to get rid of their board here. Um... You know, they can equip this up, and that's going to suck. Uh, Kiora, definitely annoying, but not really the end of the world. Again, with casualties in hand, it's just a matter of drawing the land. Uh, we literally just need that. So let's let's hope we can get there. Wow. Well, very glad we got rid of some stuff here. Ooh, that's pretty good. That's very good. Conditional Hexproof is quite great. Uh, so they can equip this up. Deal 4, 5. Is that correct? Trample and Lifelink. So they're going to gain 5 as well. That's pretty good. Oh, they equipped it there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, duh. Of course. They like switch places. I was very confused for a moment. All right. Uh, so they get to hit for 5. <laughs> yeah, hit for that. <clears throat> All right. Good news is, if we kill this, this can't do anything either. Oh, mean. Very mean. Please, a land. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, that was life-saving. Okay, Planeswalker. Land, enchantment, creature, and artifact. Let's go. Uh, mm, let's kill this. Let's kill this. Let's kill... Uh... Hmm. I'm actually going to get rid of that. Alright. That is prime casualties of war targeting. <laughs> that is amazing. Uh, Alright. Well, that felt good. <laughs> yeah. That's a five for one. That's pretty solid. Um... Okay, so we can't attack, though, because uh, we do need a blocker for this. That's the only downside here. Uh, if they, like, equip that up with a couple things, then all of a sudden we lose. So, like, we can't do that. Uh, they do have to play a creature that has enough power to, like, make it worth it. But next turn we get to do the exact same play we just did. Uh, so we get to Casualties of War for a lot. Um, and then all of a sudden we're in amazing shape. So we'll see if we can make that happen. Honestly, they should have equipped that here just so they could have attacked, but that's fine. Hydra's Growth. That's fine. Don't particularly care about that, to be honest. That's a good one, too. Um, we're going to Casualties of War again. <laughs> uh, land, Enchantment, Creature, Artifact. Okay. Um, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you. And we'll take you off a of double red. There it is. Um... Ugh. I want to attack, but I just don't feel safe doing it. Um, I really want to, but I, I just don't feel safe doing it, so we're not going to. Um, 
good. All right. Let's do this. Now we get to start, you know, taking back over. Um, this deck does a great job of taking back over. I will say that. So now we get to exile the, the card out of the hand, which is great. Um, I am going to attack here. They can block, and that's fine. We get to replay this, so I really don't care. Um, all right. Feels pretty good. Um, we've got removal in hand. They now have, t like, our life total versus uh, Ashiok to deal with. So, like, they got to find a way to deal with both here. Ashiok slowly will start taking over, so that's a worry for them. Um... we eat to extinction let's just eat this uh, let's put that in the graveyard I don't think we actually need that at the moment uh, and then let's just do this we can play out a little bit slower now because we've got you know a much bigger much bigger advantage at this point um, I'm doing my best to keep these just out of the way as well um, uh, We'll just plus up again. Um, I think we'll just arrow. Two. We're going to leave a Casualties of War in the graveyard so we can pull one back. Um, I think that's correct. And this is now gaining us life. We get to drop a land. Perfect. Uh, and yeah, we'll play out a Murderous Rider here. Now we've got a Life Linker as well. Um, not going to attack. Taking it slow. At this point, we're just in the in the inevitability phase, <laughs> which, thankfully, this deck this deck does very very well. Uh, um, we're just gonna do this. Let's Tamio. Might as well. Um, we're murderous rider, just because. <laughs> At this point, it's kind of like, okay, you know, we kind of just get there. Um, start doing a lot of damage and exiling a lot of things. Oh, good, we get a land too. Um, let's pay two. Now we get to play a murderous rider. <laughs> Adam, I'm loving the deck, my friend. You made a great suggestion. This is like so up my alley, this kind of deck. So I'm so stoked that you did this. This is very, very good. Uh, sure, that's fine. Don't particularly care because we have casualties of war. <laughs> um, granted, we do only hit two things, but like I, it's worth it. Uh, land, creature. Uh, you and you. We have other ways to deal with this, so like this is a little excessive to do it that way, but you know, it is what it is. Um, uh, what do we want? Let's try and for Anissa. No, well that's okay. Um, let's do this. I guess we'll just drop an arrow. We want to keep this one. Uh, I can enter tapped. All right. Uh, attack. I'm loving it. <laughs> oh, look. The Nissa that we had wanted. <laughs> All right. I'm very surprised they've hung in there this long, to be honest. Just because this... Uh, my assumption is, being that this is a bit more... The opponent's deck is a bit more of an aggro deck, they tend not to, like, come back too well. Especially now that we're at 21 life, like, there's very little that they could, I think, do at all. Um, but, you know, by all means, go for it. Uh, let's just do that. Might as well drop Nissa. Uh, sure. Untap a Trium. I'm kind of just playing things to play things at this point. <laughs> I mean, why not? Let's get this out of the way, just cause. 
We're not gonna ultimate anyway. There we go. I was waiting for it. All right, cool. We got two wins. Granted, it's been 30 minutes, so these are gonna be a bit longer than normal, but uh, man, this deck is sweet. I love it. I love Sultai Control right now in Standard. Uh, it just has so many cool things. All right, last game of this video. Of course, we will jump into a second video very, very soon, so do keep that in mind. Uh, if, you, if you enjoyed this one, please make sure to stay tuned for the uh, second part where we get to test out the deck just a little bit more. Um, yeah, this is pretty great, actually. Uh, we'll leave with Breeding Pool and then Thought Erasure turn two. Depending on what they do, if we have to Heartless Act, we can Heartless Act, but, uh, prefer not to. But this is a pretty solid opener. Uh, sure. Um, let's go ahead and do this. Hmm. Hmm, hmm. What card do we care about most? This and this are the most annoying, uh, to be honest. Don't care that much about this because we have extinction events. Um, hmm. Let's get rid of that because that's a bit of a problem card no matter what. I'm putting that in the graveyard. We were not close to casting it. Um, and so drawing it now is a bit useless. Kind of have to think about the here and now against a deck like this. Um, sure. Makes absolute sense. Um, gross spiral. Not bad. Uh, we're going to play this, and we're going to pass. Alright, so here's my thing. Um, I'm going to do this. I'm going to kill the Healer's Hawk. It's an odd uh, converted mana cost, and Extinction Event's going to let us kill even converted mana cost, which is going to give us that two for one, hopefully. We do have to draw a land. Oh, hey, look, a land. Well, that made that easier. Um, let's kill even. Perfect. Uh, so they are stuck on land. They didn't have one last turn. There we go. Well, that was a quick game. Uh, that kind of made up for the long ones. Unfortunately, they were just stuck on land. That wasn't that wasn't any fault of of the deck. Uh, okay, so um, we'll obviously summarize our thoughts a little more thoroughly uh, after the second video. But so far, what I will say is this deck is sweet. Um, for, for those of you that have watched us for quite a while, I've said a couple of times, um, control decks are a bit of a soft spot for me. I, I love control decks. Uh, but the value control decks that we get out of, like, Sultai are so much better, uh, to more fun to play, I will say, uh, than, like, the Azorius control decks where you just ah, counter, 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 draw, 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 and then Dream Trawler. Um, these just feel a lot cooler because you get to do a lot more interacting, uh, when it comes to the board itself, get to take over with planeswalkers, not just a dream drawler. Uh, and so there's a little bit more into it that I like. So I'm loving this deck. Thank you so much for the suggestion turn one soul ring. Really do appreciate it. Uh, and again, if you have a suggestion, uh, you're watching, you have a deck that you'd really love to see, leave it for us in the comment section, uh, or in our discord, wherever you'd feel, uh, most comfortable. We'd certainly appreciate it. Make sure to enter our core 2021 giveaway going on right now as well. Uh, we are very, very excited to be giving away another bundle. This is like the third in a row. Uh, and we're really enjoying it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you very, very soon with part two of this Sultai control list brought to you by Turn 1 Solar Ring. Thanks a lot, guys.